Hi guys, uh, usually I don't make a video about sports, but uh, this is the exception to the rule. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Usually I don't make a video about sports, mostly because I'm not a sports fan. I mean, I like basketball and I like wrestling, but uh, that's the only sports I really like. As for football and also soccer and all the other sports like golf and tennis, I personally don't like them, not one bit. Even though I'm not a sports fan, I personally support the actions of hashtag Tick and Knee. And the reason why I support it is because it's an attack on free speech. Yesterday on Twitter, Donald Trump said that NFL players who do not stand for the flag should actually get fired by their managers. First of all, I don't understand the idea of calling American football, football. I mean, the whole entire game is mostly tackles and touchdowns. You use little foot in football. As a matter of fact, the only real football is actually soccer, but uh, what the hell. Number two, what Donald Trump did was actually against the law. According to our laws, a person from the government, whether it's like the president or congressman, cannot influence private industries like the NFL. And if they were to influence something like the NFL, they can face up to 15 years in jail. So when Donald Trump says that NFL players should get fired from their manager for not standing up for the flag, that to me is an attack on free speech. He's basically trying to use his power and influence to get people fired just because he's a patriot. By the way, this is not the first time that Donald Trump actually tried to attack the First Amendment. For example, earlier this year, he said that people who burn the flag should leave the country or go to jail. I shit you not, like he posted that earlier this year in regards to free speech. You know how SJWs try to get people fired for different opinions? Well, guess what? This is the exact same thing what SJWs would do. I swear to God. Prior to this outrage from Donald Trump, nobody really gave a shit if a person actually nailed down during the flag or not. Like seriously, I never heard anybody talking about this stuff until Donald Trump started talking about it.